Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, we're back in the workshop today and this video is really a follow-up of the Chinese diesel heater fuel tanks and we are fitted um, these pickup pipes. Um, firstly I'd like to thank everybody who's got in touch uh, asking can you fit one of these into my tanks and the answer is of course I can. Um, unfortunately if you're in Cornwall, we're based in the Scottish Borders. So you'd either have to send your tank here and I'll fit it and send it back. Or if you if you can, you know, drop off to the workshop, then we're happy to fit that for you. Also, there's been concerns about the size of the tank that I fitted the pickup pipe in on the original video. I'll just show you, this is a tank here, this is a 10 litre tank and this is a pickup pipe of fades here. Um, there's concerns about the physical dimensions, it not being able to be fitted in a lot of restricted spaces within a camper van on a lot of builds. So what I've done is I've I've taken a couple of, a couple of eight liter tanks. These are these are top fill eight liter tanks, and I've fitted a pickup pipe here on this one. As you can see, I've also fit, fitted one here, and these these take up far less of a footprint than the, the ten liter tanks. And there's a couple of advantages to it. One is it'll fit in a smaller space, and two is the top fill, there's a lot of concerns about the sloshing side to side when you're driving and if the pickup is over here and out the side, that sloshing, you could get diesel leaking in it. So, in my opinion, these 8 litre tanks with the, the centre fill are, in most cases, these are an advantage. There's also been concerns about, well, it was a 10 litre tank and now that's an 8 litre tank and really I'm going to run out of fuel and, you know, <laughs> but the diesel heaters themselves are so fuel efficient that running this tank, running 8 litres of diesel on the lowest setting, I've done, I've done the maths earlier so I'll just show you, so the pump dose itself, right, so you've got your pump, right, and they all do the same thing. Every time these cycle, every time that piston goes up and down, the dose that it pushes through the fuel pipe is 0 0.02 milliliters. Now, the lowest heat setting on most Chinese diesel heaters is 1.6 hertz. That's... 1.6 cycles of the pump every second. So that being the case, that would equal 115.2 millilitres per hour. And for an 8 litre tank, which we have here, at the lowest setting, an 8 litre tank would equal 69.4 hours per tank. Now, you've got to also take into consideration all of this here. They're not, you're not going to run the tank out completely because the pickup pipe stop short probably about that away from the bottom because diesel's got a habit of picking up moisture so you could have water in the bottom also debris and you want to avoid picking that up now what about the high the highest heat settings well the highest heat setting in chinese diesel heaters is 5.5 hertz so the pump is running at 5.5 cycles every second um, on the dose rate that would equate to 396 lit uh, milliliters per hour and on an 8 litre tank that's equal to 20.2 hours per tank and I'll just add right now there is no chance that you're going to be in a camper van and running a 2 kilowatt heater let alone a 5 at 5.5 hertz because within five minutes that's going to turn into a sauna right so we'll take a look at 
a couple of other things that I'd like to point out. The fuel pipe. The fuel pipe's a problem. Now, in most cases, this is what you're going you're going to get. You're going to get this type of fuel pipe. I ran a little test on this. I took a piece of this and put it in diesel for two weeks. And when I took out the diesel, it was rock solid. So they're shipping it with with this. The, this is not fit for purpose, in my opinion. It goes rock solid if it's put in diesel for two weeks, plus it's liable to kink in. It'll work initially, but it will fail. So that is that's something that should be avoided. Um, also, I'll just point out while I've, while I've got the opportunity, these are the Jubilee clips um, that, that come. And these are the ones that fit on the intake and the exhaust. I've seen these on a few vans. A couple of weeks under there, these go rusty and they fail. Um, and in a lot of cases, when you're tightening them up, they they fail. They'll skip, you know, the the they'll skip inside, and they won't tighten up correctly. So, if you fit these, you, you will be fitting other ones in the very near future. And what I would recommend is, you get stainless steel clips, and the ones I use are they're genuine jubilee clips, and it's all stainless steel, even. Uh, the screw inside, everything is stainless steel. So we change these straight away. Uh, what are we on to now? Okay, right, so we'll have a look at this tank. So we've, we're throwing that to one side. The pipe that I would use is this white nylon pipe um, with, in conjunction with these reinforced rubber pieces that fit on uh, everything along the way. Um, you've got one here in the pickup. Um, you've got one here in a fuel shut off. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then you would you would follow the line down. Next up the line would be a filter, and then your pump, and then it would run up towards the diesel heater itself. We'll talk about the the fuel shut offs. So none of the Chinese diesel heaters that I've seen come with any way to shut that fuel off. If you if you've got a leak somewhere further up the system, whether it be the the fuel filter itself or you've got a problem at the pump, there there is no way to to shut the fuel off. Uh, through the system and then work on that you, you know you, you pull something off the pump and then you know everything's going to spill out don't ask me why they don't ship these out with a fuel shut off um, it's probably a monetary thing it's, you know as well as this nonsense they ship out and these cheap things that fail and skip so what we've got here is, this is just a, a, a dummy rig up to show you, you know, what it's like. The first thing you should come at after your fuel comes out is a fuel shut off. Um, and what we've got here is, we, we've got one rigged up, they come, they come like that, I made, up, I made up a few of these. They come like that and if you've got a problem further upstream and... You know, you want to take care of it. You, you need you need to shut the fuel off. Plus, additionally, if you need to take this tank out, um, what you want to do is you want to be able to shut the fuel off. You know, you want to be able to turn the tap. Yeah, that's actually the fuel on. Sorry, that's the fuel on. That's the fuel off on that. Um, and you can unscrew the tank, disconnect it from here, take the tank out, and work on the system. Um. So I've added one in, and this is this is what I add into systems. It's it's not it's not just a convenience. It's you know to work on the system safely. Should you should you need to work on the rest of the system? Um, the pipe that we use, as I say, is it's re reinforced rubber pieces. 
um, and this is 5mm nylon that this pipes up to the job um, and it tends not to kink it's got a stiffness to it you know so you can get these radiuses going um, pretty easy on it and you know it's just a better quality of fuel pipe and it's not going to cause you problems so they come in kits you can buy them on ebay this one this one was about eight pounds so you've got clips that come with it and if you notice these clips and i don't know if you can see them in here i'm trying if you notice these clips we don't use these ones right so this this clip here this clip came with that pipe we don't use these these spring clips because there's just not enough on them uh, to really tighten the, the pipe on the system so these kits come with these type they screw together and they go around they'll go around the the pipe and squeeze it equally uh, so these these are the ones i recommend as i say this kit it's five five meters of the uh, the nylon fuel line, and um, you've got enough of these reinforced rubber uh, pieces in order to uh, put that onto the pickup, um, and the the fuel filter, the the pump, and then you'll have another piece up at the the, the intake. So, well worth the investment. Get rid of that. That, that stuff there, get rid of that immediately, spend 8 quid and get one of these, that's what you want. So, I think that's about it really. Um, we've, we've, got, we've got these tanks, if you've, if you've got a tank and you want to send it in, fair enough, or come in, we'll put a pick up in it for you. Um, you, you can get a fuel shut off, you know, um, and that that's the way to do it. Um, I know that you've spent a hundred quid, you know, and you think, oh yeah, I'm going to fit it. It's all great, and it's only cost me a hundred quid. They cost a hundred quid for a reason. They cost a hundred quid because <laughs> because a lot of the stuff in it, it's just not up to the job. Um, and you really need to change it um, change it now or change it when it fails but it will fail you know I've, I've seen that many of them but it will fail so um, and another thing if you get a tank this thing here uh, the o-rings it's the o-rings that fail on these these are the ones that these are the ones that they fit in the bottom of the tank this is what comes with the kit um, just <laughs> don't <laughs> Don't fit these in your tank, right? Because these O-rings fail. The diesel eats them, and that's how they leak. Uh, so, be because I I've, I think they're silicone, they're no um, they're no nitrile. That's for sure. So, they're a waste of time. That's a waste of time. Um, and really, that's it. Um, I've I've got a few of the tanks. I'm going to fit them with. I'm going to fit them with a this here like that. Um, and I'll, I'm going to fit them on the other side as well because, you know, depending on where people have got them in the van and where they're going to be fitted will it'll dictate what side they want the, the fuel outlet to come out of and also making these available with the tanks so the tank comes like that and it, it comes with one of these and really what, what you have to get is these and it has to be, the white nylon has to be five millimeter outside diameter in order to fit in here correctly and to clamp up correctly and everything be sealed correctly so i'm going to leave it here because the video is long enough and i'll leave a link in the description um as i say you want a pickup pipe fitted get in touch no problem at all if you want a tank with one fitted in it and you want a fuel shut off I'll leave a link in the description and I hope this helps someone. Take care. Bye-bye.